Portia's in heat. We were gonna run a progesterone test. Um, I will show you how I draw blood. Her veins are really small. So um, I actually just got back from getting assistance from our vet tech. Um, he actually took um, a sample from the jugular instead of the leg. But what I wanna show you is, and I don't know if I can do this successfully from here, is you pinch the leg off, twist out, and then like right in here, there's a vein that you can feel and you wanna go in at like a 45 degree angle and pull the blood out. And then once you're done, you pinch it off, you wrap it with tape, which I have right here. Wrap with tape, leave it on for, I don't know, 30 minutes, and then take it off. So once you have your blood, <laughs> we'll get to that in a second. So once you have your blood, you're gonna twist the tip of this off and slowly put it into your centrifuge tube. You don't wanna damage the red blood cells. And then you put it into your centrifuge. This blood has been spin spinning for, I don't know, 30 minutes, an hour, um, while we were driving, because <laughs> I have this portable battery. So basically, when you're spinning blood, you wanna make sure that um, the counterweight is the same. So I always keep a bottle of water with me, and then I just use like a little thing, um, a dropper, to make sure that it's the same. So this is cloudy because she ate before I took the blood test. So what they told me to do was to smack the tube. <laughs> redo that and re-spin. And then you get a not so cloudy sample. Whoops, I just put my counterweight back in. And then we're just gonna let that spin back down. So this one's done. You can't really tell that it's not as cloudy because we did the same thing over there. Um, but it is ready to go. So we have the 40 UL pipette. There's also a 5 UL pipette. This is best for dogs when you're when you catch them on day seven. Um, to test through ovulation. Um, once you get past ovulation and stuff like that, you need the 5 UL. Test. Perfect, so there we go. You wanna make sure you're putting the, um, the pipe better in where, um, where the plasma is so you don't get any bubbles. If you get bubbles, just press it back out and try again. Now, these have been sitting out. You wanna make sure that your tests are room temperature before you start. Um, these have been in my cooler for a little while, so I'm gonna have to warm them up in my hand. The awesome thing about this machine is that it incubates it as well. So I just want to make sure that it's the point of having it room temperature is so that um, it doesn't fog up the glass of the container and um, hinder those test results. I think we're pretty good. Now I'm just gonna put this all the way down and push out completely, take it out, and then let my finger go. Super important, because you don't wanna draw up any um, of that fluid that's in here. Don't shake it, don't do anything like that. You're gonna go to measurement. Another thing is you need to wear gloves so that you don't get um, fingerprints on here. Five. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna name, go. Oops, that's a Q. <laughs> P O R T I A. Portia, done. 
control is switch it to dog pipette that's fine because we're not doing the 5 ul get that right it's gonna pop open put your test in and let it go and that's it that's all you do for the cube vet progesterone test discard any used things and go from there Oh, geez. <laughs> okay, now let's see how this has spun down. So you can see it's a lot clearer. So you've got this part up here, that's the plasma, then the second part, that big, thick, chunky thing, the, those are the platelets and then you have the red blood cells. So yeah, progesterone testing. And then um, I'll show you the results when we're done.